Well, we are in downtown Berkeley for the 20th annual Berkeley Art Bash. The chamber is so excited to be here again, back in our normal month of June. It's a beautiful day. We have over 147 artists, 20 food vendors, and lots of fun kid activities. The chamber is so grateful for our Kids Zone sponsors, Vibe Credit Union and Jim Schaefer and Associates. I am really excited to explore the dozens and dozens of artists and vendors because each one is unique. Every year I see something new and it's always worth exploring. And our downtown businesses go all out as well. So you can uh, explore the places that are permanently along the 12 mile stretch and Robina stretch. There's so much creativity in our community and downtown Berkeley is the ideal place to showcase that and do some shopping, have some fun. We have 147 artists and we have about 20 food trucks and kid activities combined. I would be remiss not to thank April McCrum of Catching Fireflies and Yellow Door Art Market owner. She helps us curate the show. We could not do it without her eye and her talent. You're going to see what we call makers. So these artists who are here, they've created their own um, items. And it can be such a range of items from you know apparel, to signs, to painted art, to uh, stained glass art, jewelry. I have been coming to the Art Bash for eight to nine years now. I've been making jewelry for 20 years. This is my 20th year anniversary. I designed semi-precious uh, and sterling silver jewelry with a rustic edge and this is my favorite way to open the season because I also have my work at the Yellow Door Art Market and a lot of the customers that come to that store also come to this show and so it's a wonderful experience to connect with them like that. I specialize in sterling silver and semi-precious stones. I metal smith some of the metal. I also use Thai silver which is made by the Karen Hill Tribe in Thailand. The stones are hand chosen by me. I go to Tucson every year to the Tucson Gem Shows and I hand pick each and every one of them. It's interesting because not everything has the same beginning. Sometimes it's just a color that strikes me. I'm inspired by nature and the world around me so oftentimes it's just looking out my window and seeing the spring colors. Sometimes it's going to Tucson and actually hiking through the mountains. And every day is a different experience. I never know what's going to inspire me next. There's such a variety. And what's great about this fair, too, is there's just something for everyone at every different kind of price point. It is only a one-day fair, open to the public, and everyone is welcome to come on down. The Berkeley Art Brash is very special, and it's so amazing that it's been 20 years. Congratulations to the Berkeley Chamber and April McCrum, a small business owner here in downtown Berkeley at Catching Fireflies and Yellow Door Art Market. It is really a labor of love, but so many thousands of people get to enjoy it, and it showcases the best of not only Berkeley's downtown, but the Berkeley community, where thousands of friends and family can come together, experience the art, the shopping, the dining, and then have fun with one another. Actually, I really like this art fair specifically because it's a little bit smaller. It's a great show to actually get a chance to really talk to people and get to know them. I used to live in the Ferndale area, so this is kind of my old stomping ground, so it's very fun to come back to the Berkeley area and you know visit the shops and uh, see the people that are buying my jewelry at Yellow Door Art Market. The city is phenomenal. I can't ask for um, better support. Our public works and our public safety come out of their way to help us um, to close down the streets and spend the extra hours making sure everything looks great and the roads are ready for the crowds. This planning never stops. You always, obviously, right after you're done, review what we can do better. Um, but the main planning, it starts in January. In particular, if you want to be an artist in this fair, it's always the second Saturday in June. So remember that every year, it's the second Saturday in June. And you want to go and apply, and you can find the applications at berkeleyartbash.com or berkeleychamber.com.
So you can learn more about the work that the Downtown Development Authority is doing at downtownberkeley.com. From promotional events to new murals to improvements to business facades and, and outdoor appearances, there are so many opportunities uh, because we have such a very special downtown. Today and all year round, you want to be in downtown Berkeley, and we look forward to having fun with you there. Go around.